Hello, No Borders NBDR followers. Joseph Snyder here, CEO of No Borders, coming to you on April 25th for our biweekly uh, company update video. I am uh, coming to you from sunny Laughlin, Nevada, where we have a No Borders Natural pop-up store running at the Laughlin River Run for 2019. And so, as you can see, I'm out here on the Riverwalk um, in Laughlin. Uh, we've got some of our team members here having a great time engaging with people who just rode a few hundred or a few thousand miles on their bikes and uh, helping them uh, kind of uh, relieve some of that road discomfort, uh, you know, uh, 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 leave some of that dry skin and, uh, and sharing our gummies and our almonds and, and all kinds of things from No Borders Naturals with the folks out here. Uh, I am wearing one of our uh, new Sleep Dealer t-shirts uh, that we have going on for the event. So these are cool. They've got our Got CBD and website on the back. And um, they're super comfortable. These did go live on the, uh, the website, NoBordersNaturals.com as well. So you can now get uh, logo gear, No Borders Naturals logo gear, as well as uh, our Sleep Dealer gear. Uh, if you are an ambassador or an affiliate uh, of No Borders Naturals, you can get a Sleep Dealer shirt. People ask you about it, and uh, you can share your link and and, um, and earn commission that way as well. So uh, we are having a great time. We've been in Laughlin for a couple of days, got everything set up. We've got a huge uh, booth out here. This is a massive motorcycle event. It runs all the way through Sunday morning, and uh, we're out here um, having a great time. So I did want to take a few minutes of the day, as always. This, uh, this update video series that we've done, we've continued to do for well over a year now. Um, every couple of weeks, we get together and just uh, give you guys an update on what are the things that we're doing, what are the actions that we're taking as a company. And, um, and so we are continuing with that communications tradition. Uh, we believe that that's a core part of the value difference between No Borders and other OTC companies is our consistent dedication and commitment to bringing you guys as much information as we can, as quickly as we can, staying in communication all the time. Our team uh, responds very aggressively on social media. I personally respond on social media uh, pretty continually. Uh, and we also really work hard to make sure that these type of communications stay on time, stay on track. So no matter where we are, no matter how big of the event, no matter how uh, demanding the day might be, uh, we do take the time to come down and uh, engage with you guys and bring you the information and stay in contact. So we appreciate all of you guys for watching these. And um, so I'm just going to bust through a couple of little points here, and then I'm going to get back to work. I'm definitely getting a tan. It is uh, 98 degrees out here today. It is a bright blue sky, sunny day. And um, we're just having a great time out here in Laughlin. So let's see. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What are we going to talk about today? I talked about Laughlin. I mentioned that. I did that. So that's good. I got my list here, as always. One of the things that I wanted to talk about was the expanding No Borders Naturals product line, because this is something that you kind of get to see when you're looking at the website. You can go through the website. You can see the different things that go up on there. You can uh, see how those things are growing. But you know, when, when I'm looking at it, we're looking at, okay, how many UPC codes are we up to? You know, how many product variants and how many diversity variants do we have going on in there? And, and what's the breadth of that product line? And I'm really, really proud of the breadth of the product line as it currently sits. We're over 100 UPCs. Um, so that means that we've really gone from um, this initial tranche of topicals and rubs that uh, we fell in love with and really work and are still a, a fantastic seller for us to testing, I think at this point, it's literally thousands of products that we've tested, individual products that we've tested and tried and different formulations and different manufacturers and different supply chains and all kinds of, of things that we have done to um, get us to a point where we have a really solid product offering, what, what I would consider an almost complete product line um, at, at market right now. And that's, that's sitting at just over 100 uh, UPCs right now. Uh, we are looking to expand that. I think um, as we fill out the pet care line, as we complete that line of products, and as we add in the rest of the, the things that kind of interest us personally as things that we want to see with these um, types of products, with these ingredients in them, whether that's cannabinoidal, hemp oil, uh, emu oils, even the kiwi vine extract um, ingredients, that we expand that product line out to uh, somewhere between 250 and 300 total UPCs 
as we build that out. So I think we're about uh, half to a third of the way there. And we've got a phenomenal product line. I mean, we have um, over a dozen variants of gummies and and candied almonds. And with the gummies, we also have vegan options there as well, uh, which are not only um, open us up to another part of the market for, for sales, but also they taste really good and they're delicious. And that helps. Um, you know, I, we really wanted to make sure that the products that we were putting in there were products that we wanted to eat and we wanted to eat again. And I've said that over and over and over. If you haven't tried the gummies or the bears or the vegan gummies, uh, if you haven't tried the candied almonds, you can go on nobordersnaturals.com and get a free sample of the gummies. You can get a free sample of the almonds. You can get a free sample of the dog treats and you just pay like five or six bucks shipping and handling um, and, and get these things and, and try them because I'm very, very proud of them. They taste like what you would want them to taste like, and they're really good. And that does make a huge difference. And then, you know, from, from those products, we have our tinctures, which are, um, again, we've tested dozens and dozens of these things, and most of them don't taste good. You know, uh, most of the flavoring ones that we got were terrible. You know, the one that we uh, you know, we have a couple of variants, but the main one that we're selling is a light mint flavor. It doesn't have any added sugar in it. It's just uh, a, a light flavoring there. And with the MCT oil, the hemp oil, you get a really, really, really high bioavailability in a tincture that doesn't taste bad. And that's a really important thing when we're looking at that piece of the product line. Um, in addition to those products, we have all of the topicals. We've got the 500 milligram body lotions, which are phenomenal. We've got the tinctures and the rubs, and uh, we're working on some chapstick items and some other things like that right now. Um, but we really have com completely built out this product line in very few months. We've launched, this is, uh, this is our eighth or ninth event in the last two and a half months. This is our fourth pop-up store, active pop-up store for No Borders Naturals. And, you know, we're, we're in a town with a tattoo convention at the place that we're, that we're going to, in addition to a motorcycle rally that has tens of thousands of bikers coming uh, and riding in from all over the country. So it's fantastic exposure for the brand. It's fantastic exposure for our company. We have pamphlets that are made up and bookmarks that are made up that tell about the company story and show off the different brands that we have and operate, talk about NBDR as a company. Um, and No Borders as a company. And uh, we're putting out in, fr in, fr in front of people, we're engaging with people directly. And I am really, really um, thrilled to see how we've grown this over, I don't know, 90 to 120 days. Um, if we're just looking at the number of SKUs on the website and the number of UPC code variants that, are, that, that we're working with, um, you know, it's, it's been a phenomenal success. Sales are solid, they're growing, um, and uh, that is, uh, that's a phenomenal thing. You know, when we, when we showcase these products, when we share these products with people, when we put these products on people, they come back and, then they, and they buy them, and once they've purchased them, uh, they come back and do it again. And that seems to be, you know, for me, I mean, what else could you want from a product line than it's helping people feel better, and once they've used it, they come back and say, you know what, um, I really liked your product. I liked the way it smelled, I liked the way it felt, I liked what it did for me. And so not only am I you know, a fan of the product itself and the fact that I feel better, but I wanna go ahead and get it again because it did help and I wanna continue using it. And that's the feedback that we see. We have very high reorder rates. Uh, we have very high uh, engagement of, at, at events, engagement to purchase rates um, are, are fantastic. Um, and as always, a, a shout out to Chris and his team with you know, No Borders Labs putting in all of the different pieces in a continual way to make sure that we have the systems in place, that we have the technologies in place to track all of these things, to be data centric, to uh, minimize our costs and maximize our profitability. And uh, those pieces are huge. You know, if you go on the website on a lot of the products now, you'll see uh, an upgrade to a subscription model. And, you know, these are the kinds of things where, you know, if we're, as we grow and we look at how we transition, um, customers from initial engagement through continual purchases and subscriptions and recurring revenue uh, and, and those kind of things, um, that there's a lot of data there and there's a lot of power there in uh, raising the lifetime customer value of a client and as we work on ensuring that we're lowering the customer acquisition costs. You know, 
um, when we're doing these pop-up stores, these are re revenue generating events. And to date, they've done very, very well, um, which is fantastic. And we're going to grow that and, and scale that. But in addition to that, they are uh, profitable customer acquisition events. And that yields long-term results all the way across the spectrum. So very happy to be able to be here in Laughlin. It is hot, man, let me tell you. We are sweating. It is hot. Uh, our our pop-up store is located in, in a good position. So at about 11 o'clock in the morning, we kind of get into the shade and we stay there for the rest of the day. So that's awesome. Because um, who knew like rubs and lotions, when you get them really hot, they, they <laughs> lose a bit of their consistency. So um but we do have all that handled and we're having a great time with those pieces. We, we really are. Um, as far as, you know, naturals goes in the growth, you know, we are currently, we, we opened up the affiliate program. So any of you who have purchased our products on the website have gotten an email from the affiliate program. And that email has said, Hey, you know, here's your affiliate link, here's your custom code. You know, as you can see, it's loud here. Um, and it's, it's not quiet in Laughlin anywhere you go. So I just picked a spot and this is what we're doing. Um, but you know, on on our on our ambassador program, we have the. As a matter of fact, I'm gonna move down here because these people are loud as shit. Okay, let's see here. Let's move this stuff around here. See if we can set up over here. See if we got a better spot. I think we're gonna lose our little. I think I'm gonna lose my little flag in the background, which is the only thing I'm gonna lose here. So okay, well I don't have my Laughlin River Run flag. It's over there somewhere. I don't have my Laughlin River Run flag anymore, but that's okay. Um, as I was saying, we opened up the affiliate program and we currently have over 500 active affiliates. So it's growing very, very quickly. We've seen a lot of engagement with the affiliate program and um, our social media growth is growing. Our affiliate programs are growing. Our brand growth is growing. Uh, and, you know, on Instagram, we have over 2000 followers just on the No Borders Naturals account. There's a lot of engagement there. We're seeing 300 to 400 likes per picture, uh, per post. And so we're seeing a lot of engagement traction, a lot of social traction, a lot of affiliate growth all the way around the brand. And we're also seeing that go step in, step by step, uh, lockstep with, um, sales growth. And I love seeing that, right? So you know, we are firing on all eight cylinders. We are aggressively uh, expanding our ground game and our pop-up stores. We are aggressively expanding our digital and social reach and, uh, and our affiliate programs, which give us compounded social reach. And so those things are going very well. They're all on track. They're all uh, being aggressively pushed forward. And I can't wait to keep you guys updated on those pieces as we move forward. Um, on the corporate side, you know, we have Almost finished our Q1 financials. Uh, we have significantly more revenue in Q1 than we had in uh, 2018. So we feel as an organization that we really turned the corner on um, being able to bring these products to market, being able to generate revenue from them and all of that, especially considering that we really rolled that out in Q4 of last year. So we've moved very quickly and aggressively uh, in, both with social and digital and, and physical products over the last 120 days, 150 days. And we're seeing really great results from that all the way around the ecosystem. So in addition to the revenue growth for the company, which uh, is the first flag we should wave, right? Like, hey, are you a business? Are you guys, are, are we growing? Are we growing our user bases? Are we growing our revenue bases, right? Uh, we are, and those are great things. But in addition to the revenue basis for the company, we have been continuing to file additional trademarks. We've moved some of the initial trademark filings that we did forward uh, with publications that will be going out in the first week of May. So we've, we're continuing to push down uh, protecting the, the legal and intellectual property pieces of the organization. And we've continued to push down the road of getting these things published and, and, and filed and, and all of these things finished. There's a bunch of pieces there. In addition to the fact that our team is aggressively working on the uh, Q1 financials, finishing those up, we are going to be early with filing those. Um, you know, our, our filing deadline for the Q1 financials is May 15th. I am shooting to be uh, at least a week early on that. Um, I do like to be even earlier than that if I can, and, uh, and we're getting there. Again, the thing that has taken time on the Q1 financials and that we've really worked through, number one is, as you all know, OTC updated the filing requirements. 
Uh, so we've dealt with that. We dealt with that on that last year's annual, and, and we're using the new systems there and, and complying with the new requirements, obviously, with OTC markets. But additionally to that, we really you know, brought uh, MetaDent Supplies and No Borders Naturals to market in Q1 uh, of this year. And so there's a lot of moving pieces, and there's a lot of things about, okay, what is cost of goods, and, and where do these things go, and, you know, and, and all of these different pieces that, uh, that go in that are going to be much easier as we repeat them moving forward, right? Um, because even as we add businesses in, which, you know, there's, uh, we're still looking at that, obviously. Uh, you know, Chris and I do like to, to find lucrative niches in the business world and use our, use our skills and talents to, uh, to generate revenues and profits in them. So we will continually be looking for that. But, you know, these things get to a point where, hey, you know what? We know what that thing does. We know how it works. We know where the revenue comes from. We know where the costs go. And so we can kind of move that forward. And so every time we do one of these repetitions and we get through one and past it and onto the second one, it's a little bit easier and a little bit easier. And so my goal is to get us to a point where we're filing our quarterlies several weeks early um, on a continual basis. And we're really ahead of the game there. And uh, I like as a, as, a, as a business, as an operation, I like everything that we have being ahead of the game. And um, so we are currently uh, finishing up the Q1. Uh, we will have that filed very, very shortly. Um, ideally, the Q1 will be filed uh, before my next up update video happens. And uh, if not, then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll be you know, filing it right around then. And um, other than that, let's see, I do have one more thing on my list. Let me see. Um, Metadent, No Borders Dental, Metadent uh, expanded pro product offerings. Um, if you're, if you've looked at the MetaNet, which is metadentsupplies.com, go, go check it out. If you need any medical equipment, if you know a dentist, if you are a dentist, uh, you know, go check veterinary, um, go check us out and, and take a look at that. But the MetaNet profit, uh, product line is growing. We are continually, we have a team working, um, under No Borders Labs, inputting products, updating information, inputting sales data. The social team there has done a phenomenal job. Uh, our engagement numbers there are fantastic. Uh, again, a little bit of a different animal. With Naturals, we're doing a real consumer engagement model, an Instagram style model, um, and uh, we grow the likes, we grow the following, we grow the photo count. On MetaDent, we're hitting more of a professional demographic. And so what we do is we use that social media to engage directly with groups and places where these professionals engage and get information. So that's blogging and group sharing and things like that. And we see a phenomenal result from that. So that brand itself is growing. Um, obviously, uh, we're very happy to have that brand's revenue and, uh, and, 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 and sheer volume of products being tran transacted growing. But in addition to that, what's more important um, than just about anything is expanding out that product line at this point in time and making sure that we carry the products that people are looking for and we carry the products that these people need uh, when they need it. And, um, and I think we've done a great job of that so far. We've brought on world-class companies. We've brought on world-class suppliers all the way around this company. And, um, and it's been very successful so far. And I'm very happy to have that brand growing uh, right alongside our No Borders Naturals brands and some of the other things that we're doing as well. So um, again, you know, from Laughlin, uh, from a big event with a large No Borders Naturals pop-up store going on, I just wanted to take the time to say hello to you guys give you an update on the company, what we're doing. And um, thank you guys for following us. Thank you so much for, for sharing our company information and, and the news about us uh, with people. It does mean the world to us. I appreciate all of your support on this journey and we are having a great time. So um, we will keep you posted and I will uh, have that Q1 up as soon as we can and um, share that with you guys as soon as I can. Have a great day.